Hi everyone. Hello, welcome to the channel. Today is August 30th and the topic of discussion is when you feel lazy. Seneca says, anything that must yet be done, virtue can do with courage and promptness. For anyone would call it a sign of foolishness for one to undertake a task with a lazy and begrudging spirit, or to push the body in one direction and the mind in another, to be torn apart by wildly divergent impulses. Mm. Can we break this down? I know there's like a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah. Okay. So he's saying like, if there's something to be done, then we need to do it with courage and promptness. Courage and promptness. Promptness means go do it. Mm -hmm. Don't you, delay. Don't delay it. Procrastinate. Yeah. And courage is maybe... Do it the right way. Do it the right way. Um... So what's the right way in like a what, what, what in what way right way? <laughs> Maybe the rest of the quote will okay. help us understand. Mm -hmm. So he say he says it's foolish for somebody to do a task with a lazy and begrudging spirit. So the spirit, so maybe the spirit is like grudging, like, oh, I don't want to do it. Yeah, like, mm, like you're kind of grumbling about the thing that you're about to go do, mm -hmm. kicking your feet around. Mm -hmm. um, and then he defines it further as pushing the body in one direction and the mind in another. So like we do the task, so our body is doing the task, but mentally we're resisting it, arguing with it, getting all pissed off about the fact that we have to do it. Yeah, we're not, we're not, like we're not bought in to go do that thing. We're like, I want to do it. I have to. I hate it. But you still do it. Like vacuuming. Right, yeah, like, or a, a, any, yeah, any of these kinds of things. Like finding fun in vacuuming. There is some fun to it, I, I guess. But yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, I, I, I can see many examples where I have that kind of attitude towards things. Like, okay, like, like I learned to say, like, okay, well, I know that I have, like, something needs to get done. Like, okay, I have to do it because... If I don't do it, there's huge consequences. Like so, I, I know what the right. what the pain of the consequences is. So I want to go like, okay, I'll do it. But I'm, but I am, I have that crappy attitude about it. Like ah, like I don't yeah. want it, or like what is this? Why is this so hard? Mm. Blah blah blah. All of these, all of these kind of like, mm, not excuses, but but almost like they help the excuse to justify why i shouldn't be doing it right or yeah. like why you know what i mean so it's like complaints complaints grievances. yeah grievances Dude, it's not it's not what it's supposed to be right it's supposed to be easy so there is another thing right there is this constant underlying uh assumption that life is supposed to be easy so when and and how easy well the more easy i'm thinking that it's supposed to be the harder it <laughs> the harder it is to on the other end you know what i mean so yeah it's it's a it's a very interesting um that's a good quote and i like it yeah yeah it's like uh sometimes uh, like i'll do it but i won't be happy about it and it's this quote is directed right at that sweet spot of the i'll do it but i won't be happy about it thing <laughs> All right, you want to read Ryan? Let's go. Cool. If you start something and right away feel yourself getting lazy and irritated, first ask yourself, why am I doing this? If it really is a necessity, ask yourself, what's behind my reluctance? Fear? Spite? Fatigue? Don't forge ahead hoping that someone will come along and relieve you of this task that you don't want to do. Or that someone else will suddenly explain why what you're doing matters. Don't be the person who says yes with their mouth, but no with their actions. Steve Jobs told Business Week in 2005, only midway through a Apple's stunning rise to becoming one of the world's most valuable companies, quality is much better than quantity. 
one home run is much better than two doubles. Good. Sweet. Yeah. It reminds me of in our wellness training at work right now, we are focusing on the term cardio. And cardio in this, in our definition of it, is anything that you don't want to do. So kind of this mm-hmm. whole thing. And so the policy around cardio is like, um, can I delegate it? Can I delete it? And then no, if I do it, how do I change my mindset around it? How do I, so like this is even like before I start doing things, I have to notice and label it as cardio. I have to see that I'm doing it and become aware of it ahead of time. Because a lot of times I'm not aware of it. I just do things that I don't like to do. I like that. That's like, can I delegate it? Can I delete it? Or if no, on both of these, then I have to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, okay, now I have to do it. So, AK, let's change my mind about it because I am actually then gonna, like, it's gonna be much better if that mind, mindset is changed while I'm doing it because the decision to do it was already made. So, the mindset needs to also change with that decision. But it's like a delay thing, right? It's almost like decision was made. I have to do it. Okay, now I'm doing it. I hate it the entire time. And when I'm done, I go, oh, okay, it wasn't so bad. And 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 uh, uh, and then I'm glad I did it. But you, so you're like, it's like you you kind of like reward yourself with maybe these words of like, okay, like yeah, that was good stuff, right? But like throughout the entire time, you're in agony, right? And then then you don't celebrate maybe even at the end of it as they're like, okay, I did it. I actually had to do something I was, that was hard and I hated it, but actually, no, we, were, we go like this. Yeah, okay, it's done now. Okay, next. You know, it's like, it's like we have... And that yeah. probably actually happens because, because of that attitude about it because it's hard to celebrate something when you when you didn't enjoy when you didn't enjoy when you didn't enjoy it or like you know that like hey i could have shown up better i got it done but i could have shown up better in my mind to myself and now the fact that i didn't show up the best way that i could have at the end of it yeah i got the task done so cool but i don't feel like celebrating it because i know that there's for a you are realizing what you're saying or you're not realizing it right if you are realizing it then 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 yeah then it's yeah um then it's a l- little different i guess because then you can be um you can be aware of it that you um you're like i i i didn't like the, hmm, what am i trying to say there is like there is like a little difference there I lost it, but yeah, yeah. There's there's a little bit of a difference there, like how you you can look at it this way or that way, and it's still, it's still, um, you might still have that feeling of like not celebrating, right? Um, because you feel you you know that you went through that process with a crappy attitude, and you say, oh, I can't celebrate because I'm kind of pissed off that I went through it with this crappy attitude, and I am unable to change it while i'm going through it i'm always realizing it at the back end over here where now i'm supposed to celebrate but i have this bad taste in my mouth because how it went how it all unfolded right so you might be that or you don't even know about it but oh you know, yeah i am in a lot of cases i don't even know about it at that point sure. but nonetheless i don't want to celebrate and right now i'm like because it's if the feeling is in there it is, it in, is, there. is in there I, but i haven't yeah. become aware of it yet that's so, what i was trying to yeah, say yeah, those, yeah. those two things there yeah, yeah yeah um and so it's like becoming aware awareness is the first step to to it because even with this whole cardio thing, and we're talking about it at work in the wellness trainings, I realized like, wow, a lot of times I don't even know that it's cardio when I'm in the middle of it, not even at the end of it, but like, 
while I'm doing it, mm-hmm. I'm in this negative thought spiral, not helpful thinking of like, but I'm doing the thing anyway. And I'm not aware that that is necessarily happening. Mm-hmm. And so I'm struck with all of this work. Like, like how you it, enter that work without maybe doing, going saying, to saying to yourself, okay, hold on. I am going to about to do something that I'm not a big fan of. So I do need to change my mind about it before I start right. actually working on it. Right. Like that doesn't happen. You, you, you enter the doing very quickly from, ah, oh, this has to happen. Okay. I'm going to go do it. Right. Like, there's no, <laughs> there's no, this reminder. Yeah. I don't go through the process of, oh, this is cardio, identifying it. This is cardio. Can I delegate it? Mm -hmm. Can I delete it? No, I have to do it. How am I going to approach the doing of this in this way? When when I'm not actually, like, I don't like to do it, so I have to change my mind. It is not going to all of a sudden be pleasant. No, I need to say, oh, you know what? That's okay. Maybe I'm going to find something pleasant in this. And just that little thing you're changing your mind the approach this is not a big chore now it's just something that needs to get done it's okay and now you're having a better time with it yeah and i would make different decisions during that time where like sometimes i don't like doing something because of the emotional baggage that i'm pulling into the situation Mm -hmm. and so like well if i can identify that up front i can be like oh well like if i leave that at the door this task is actually just fine that's just fine it's yeah, just yeah. fine if i'm not putting all the emotional ideas and thinking how things could have should have happened all of a sudden the task itself is it's like okay. oh it's nothing yeah right yeah. but then sometimes the task is still is i look at it and i'm like oh this is um, why is this cardio because it's tedious and it's it's mm. just uh it's gonna take forever i'm gonna get an- anxious during it okay well like now if i know that up front can i break this into chunks Mm-hmm. Can I put on some music or a show? Can I change my environment mm-hmm. around mm-hmm. here? Like use some tools to make it pleasant. Exactly. Because yeah. because there there might be something like like you go like okay well I'm gonna go have to go clean toilet okay like you go like well what pleasant thing am I supposed to find about toilet well no nothing but maybe yeah play music like put on a podcast put on a podcast and yeah. then now it's like okay it's the thing is not <laughs> the enjoyable thing but there's something else in there that you you know put on a podcast and use this opportunity to work on my squats or you know what i mean and now all of a sudden it's like cool this is now part of a kind of a workout type of thing and it's a learning thing and plus we get a clean toilet (laughs) and all or all are true right so it's not you're not making up some sort of a um, story in your head to fool, to fool food, yourself right. into oh it'll this is great. fine it'll be great like no 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 like but it takes a little bit to think about it to come up with like okay oh cleaning the toilet i can maybe do some squats while doing it or oh when i'm bending down make sure i'm bending in the right place in my spine you know or i'm bending in my hips and not on my spine and all kinds of things like hey is my back straight right while i'm doing it so it's like oh i'm working on some alignment while i'm cleaning toilet and listening podcast or something and now it's the chore is still the same chore but it just feels much better <laughs> so good stuff yeah it's a big lesson because it's so the cardio stuff when you, we don't like something it's so fast and pre-programmed that it, they're just like scripts that just run it just goes so it's like I, they have to be interrupted yeah, and yeah, the yeah. tool with that is like the awareness mm-hmm. And the awareness can happen through these intentions of us like sitting down, having this conversation and mm-hmm. saying to myself, this is important. This is a priority. I want to be the type of person who notices these things ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because as we're talking about this, like our neurons are firing these ideas. They're trying to remember these ideas in there and these, these pathways of how we're thinking about it so we can apply it to our real situations right now is it going to happen tomorrow probably not but nevertheless just doing this one time we are already exploring this new way of sending those signals in our brain so changes already on the on its way <laughs> till the next time thanks for joining today see you tomorrow